back to the Remote No Pressure podcast, though. Well, hello. Notice I didn't say Bobcast this week. Bobcast. Well, that was pretty good, though. But you know, right out of the gate, we, 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 were, we were doing good. We, we weren't. But, you know, it was a funny episode. It was. It's one of those things where, and it doesn't come out perfect, but we didn't, we didn't even edit it. And I'm like, I should probably listen through this intro to make sure it's not crazy <laughs> you know like didn't you know didn't want to offend too many people a couple of people's okay well one like, or two you want to do that i mean like if yeah. you're not offending people <laughs> it's just a boring podcast but and that's that's basically how cnn and fox news and all these people say if we're not offending like 50 percent of the yep. population we're probably doing something wrong and each one's offending the opposite 50 exactly yeah so then you get a more on yep. your side I, I listened to this uh, marketing guru guy, and he was talking about that. like Offending people? Yeah. Like, you want to be divisive in order to get raving fans. Interesting. Yeah. So, he was talking about how to get really deep fans, and he was talking about there's a coffee company, not Sandhill Coffee, but there's another coffee company um, started by military guys. I can't remember the name of the company. Oh, yeah. I know the one. Uh, Black Rifle Coffee. Yep. They are not a sponsor of ours. No, nope. but they're pretty. They're pretty like military. No um, political correctness. What they call it yeah. at all. They just, yep. you know, they use scandalous girls dressed in their ads. They shoot scandalous. Yeah, they, they, they background check to make Traflin. sure they're extra scandalous. <laughs> Traffling. <laughs> <laughs> that girl's traveling. No. Uh, <laughs> I, there goes I see the 50%. them going over their resumes, and I see, uh, all right, uh, your background looks extra scandalous. Yeah, you you have a PhD from Harvard. That's excellent. Mm-hmm. How, I don't What's see scandalous. What's your tramp stamp look like? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not familiar with that term. Well, I'm sorry. You're just not qualified uh, for the job. The position's been filled. <laughs> the position, <laughs> sorry, the position has been filled. <laughs> Do people still get tramp stamps? I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we were the last generation. That was like a Generation X thing. That was. I, mm-hmm. I see some people getting them removed. Yeah, I still re- I still regret getting mine. <laughs> <laughs> I went with a purple butterfly. <laughs> or like, yeah. I have a friend that has a Chinese written on, on hers. And it Is says it the same outdoor friend? Outdoor or oh. out exit only, something like that. Really? Yeah. That's, that's, I mean, that's quite a, like, you have to be really confident in that decision. Yep. yep. You know, it's it's funny if you had, like, a stick on and you're at a club and or a bar with your friends and you're like, hey, look at this, guys. And it might not even say that. It might say, like, soy sauce. <laughs> but she was told. <laughs> yeah. The guy's like, yeah, that, uh, yeah that's, that's what it, it means. Yeah. It's like the same tattoo on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> he only knows, like, one style. <laughs> Four characters. What are you looking for? Well, I wanted to say live, laugh, love. This is what it's going to look like. And it's like the same thing as like. <laughs> I would like uh, the Lord's Prayer. Well, here it is. <laughs> here it is. It's, everyone's, oh, that looks very similar to mine. Mine says, I hate my ex boyfriend. Mine says, oh, right. <laughs> that would be hilarious. All you need is like three. Maybe you have a fourth one in your pocket just for uh, just just to break just it to be out. ready in case yeah. there's something long. Yeah, you know, like a long. Oh, we add this extra T shape. That would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone leaves with the same Chinese characters. <laughs> characters. No, but uh, what were we talking about, Bill? Uh, tramp stamps. Tramp stamps. Oh, uh, sca- ca- coffee. Coffee. Yeah. So this scandalous coffee. women. Yeah. Scandalous. So they, but they were talking about how they grew their business. Yeah. And one of them was you tick people off. Yeah. You know, you tick people off, and then the other people are like, yeah, screw that. You know. <laughs> and unfortunately, it's easy these days. Our country is so divided. Right. I mean, like you, you just gotta find your niche and like, boom. Right. You know, t- you're ticking people off and, and they're going to be loyal too. That's what they were saying. Like how to get loyal yeah. raving fans yep. is tick a bunch of people off yeah. like 50%. But if you have 50% of the other population that really loves your product, you make a good product, but they're loyal to it. Which one has deeper pockets? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's make... Yeah, and that's another thing too is you can't decide what your content's going to be based on who's got deeper pockets. Yeah. You know, you got to really believe in what you're saying. Yeah. You know, because yeah. you're really going out there. You're throwing out the big, big matzo ball there. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like MAGA or whatever, you know, this is my group and this is my group. And there's no turning back from that. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, what if, yeah, what if, like, I've changed a lot over the last 20 years. And, and Bill, you've known me most of those yeah. 20 years. Yeah. I've changed a lot. 
in my beliefs, but like, let's just say you get a tramp stamp that says MAGA country. Okay. Yeah. In, in Chinese. In Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, you can't, yeah. I wanted to say MAGA country. So, you know, oh, here, here are the, th- this is a four letter one. This is the four letter I was bringing up. No, but let's just say, well, like, in five years, you may be like, I really hate that. You know, I, oh, he's out of office now. And you go into some Chinese getting, he's like, oh, a beautiful live, laugh, love tattoo. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> it's supposed to say MAGA country. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can live with it now. I can live with that now. But my fans, you know, <laughs> but you can't, ch- you know, once you build a brand on that. It seems like you can't. Will it last the test of time, you know? It doesn't matter if it lasts. The problem is uh, right now with um, how divided we are. Well, I don't think we're going to be as divided in four years or six years or eight years. Uh-huh. Ten years of time, say, will, will the same issues, will the same things that tick this crowd off, tick this crowd off, you know what I mean? Right. It's a different country then. It's almost like, well, and when we talk about divided, we're really talking about dry fly anglers and people who... Um, we're talking about fly, traditional fly fishing and also tinkara. But for some reason, Bill, some people just don't think tinkara fishing is real fly fishing. Yeah. Understandable. <laughs> so, Understandable. So some of these people, like, it, it is a very divisive issue. Mm-hmm. Dry fly versus um, using streamers. Because yeah. some people are like, that's not real fly fishing. That's right. But, uh, but here... Uh, we we were a fully accepting podcast, uh, regardless of your fly That's fishing. That's very views. progressive of us. We're very progressive. Yes, you know we take pride in that here at the podcast. Whether you're Tinkara, ooh, spa- ooh, yeah, the unlovables, we hey, love them. We we take them all in. <laughs> we have broad shoulders and long arms. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I, I just want everybody to know whether you're. Whether you're a spit, you see the pre- the pause. Yeah, pregnant pause. I like that. I just want you guys to know. That's too long. That ah, was too long. I was almost there. Yeah. You interrupted. I okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted you guys to know that we accept everyone. That was good. That you was like, good. That was better. Whether you're a tinkara, mm-hmm. whether you're a traditional flying go with dry flies, mm-hmm. whether you're a salt guy with. Are, are you pausing for me to agree with you? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm really trying to create a message, Bill. Oh. I'm really shut, trying to up. preach a message. This is the time when we get really intimate with our audience. We Bill. get closer to the we mic. We get closer to the mic. We talk a little lower. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the Remote No Pressure Podcast, we are accepting. We, we love everyone, whether you fish Tinkara, whether you're a dry fly guy, whether you are a streamer, salt, fresh. We don't care. I mean, we accept spinning gears, too, because to be honest with you, those guys, maybe they're maybe, maybe you're searching. They're questioning. Maybe you're questioning. Maybe you're wondering. You've had this <laughs> desire that's unusual, uh, <laughs> and, and, and you've never had these feelings before. Which fishing shop do I go to? Which fishing shop do you go to? Do you, you, you go there, you park behind the fly shop, <laughs> you put on sunglasses, you hope nobody's going to see you, okay? But let me know. Let me tell you, we do see you, and we welcome you to this new way of life. And I understand, I understand some of your guys may think you're going to be stuck up, okay? Some <laughs> of your guys, some of your friends may give you crap about it. But let me tell you something. Here at the Remote No Pressure po- Fly Fishing Podcast, you can be yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I whether it's going to be, <laughs> whether it's Tinkara, whether it's Dry Flies, whatever you want to do, love is love. That was a good pause, too. That was a good <laughs> that pause. That was a right good there. one. Like yeah. that? We need an organ playing in the background. I, I sent some t-shirts off that, that sermon right there. Love is love. And and we have like a, a Tinkara on one side and like a regular fly rod on mm-hmm. the other. That that would be awesome. Streamers in the back. Love and, uh, is dry love. Dry flies underneath. Yes. Yeah, because you know what? We, we, we're just accepting. We're open and accepting here. That's pretty funny. Speaking of spinning gear, uh, I will talk about this because this is pretty a pretty amazing article. Yeah. It turns out uh, seven foot, seven foot, that's taller than you and me. Yeah. How tall a, are you, Bill? I'm six foot. Are you I'm six, six foot? foot? Yep, with hey, my heels on. <laughs> <laughs> Loving and accepting. Loving and accepting. Whatever, Bell. Whatever floats your boat, bud. No. Um, there goes all of our subscribers. Um, <laughs> just kidding, <you> know? <laughs> He's wearing heels? He's wearing heels. Well, okay. Anyways, I'm not going to say some of things that go to my head. Um, I've got to learn how to control those things. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Things that's that what just, it's wisdom to be able wis- to control that. It's wisdom. Uh, because I've got so many funny things to Ignore say. Ignore the voices. 
<laughs> exactly. It's like I got a whole. Lot. It turns out. Um, let me ask you this question, Bill, because you're 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 from Michigan, born yeah. and raised here yep. in Michigan. Yep. You've probably never seen or caught an alligator gar. Well, that's awfully presumptuous of you. That is presumptuous. To, um, I, I shouldn't that. assume that, but have there you? was that time in college. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're open and accepting. <laughs> Experimented with some alligator car. <laughs> God. It's a crazy time in my life. <laughs> I was confused. I was changing my majors. I didn't know. <laughs> Saw by a lake. Read an article on the, on the <laughs> internet. <laughs> Just the once, though. Just the one time. Just the one time. It's the first time I told anybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Bill. Uh, this is how we tick people off. This is it. This is All it. the Alligator Gar fans are. Uh, <laughs> nope. We love Alligator Gar. <laughs> <laughs> always have, always will, ever since I was a kid. Um. <laughs> So, anyways, turns out. <laughs> well, let me tell you about alligator gar. My experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <sighs> I gotta get some of your water, Bill. Can yeah, I have some of your water? Ahead. Go ahead. Hold on one second. Coughing. This, this turned into one of them podcasts where people are listening to us drink. I know. Hold on. It's a hot ninety degree day here in Michigan. Yeah, people hate. I, I hate it when people talk about the weather, but I always do. Yeah, <laughs> it's like okay, I don't give a crap what what yeah. the weather's like. I'm from Alaska; it never gets above seventy here. Thanks. Right? Who gives a crap? You're just wasting time. All right. So, well, when I was a kid, I grew up in Lake Jackson, Texas, just outside of Houston, and uh, we had a bunch of ditches by our house that would. What up, ditches? What's up, ditches? <laughs> <laughs> but, they would, <laughs> but they would connect. They would connect to the. Uh, to the rivers and the rivers would connect to the to the Gulf, you know. Yeah. So we'd have all kinds of like squirrely things in these. Oh, uh, well, we talked about squirrels last time. Yeah, squirrels. Yeah, remember? What about them? <laughs> Never mind. Okay. We went into a whole rant on them. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Squirrels are vicious yeah. animals, but squirrely things being crazy fish, yeah, turtles, and one of those things we had in there was alligator gar. And we used to always love to go for these alligator cart, and they're very prehistoric looking. Mm-hmm. I think I've seen them before. Yeah. Yeah. What we're I mean, not here in Michigan, but I mean, like you know, in college. <laughs> 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 no, I've seen I've seen like videos and pictures online. They are pretty big. Yeah, they, they can get big, or they're yeah. pretty small too. But they're a lot of fun to catch. But a lot of times, kind of like pike or something, like with their teeth, they can cut your line. Yeah. That kind of thing. So it uh, turns out this this guy, and we'll post this up on our on our Facebook page here, uh, caught a seven foot alligator gar caught in South South Texas. So it turns out a seven foot alligator gar was caught and released by Texas King Outdoors in Zapata, Texas on Sunday. TKO or Texas Kings Outdoors specializes in freshwater fishing. I'm pretty sure it's spinning. Spinning gear guys, mm-hmm. which will will forgive that, because he caught a seven foot alligator gar. What kind of gear do you got to have to pull that sucker in? Oh, dude, I don't know. Like, it's definitely not on the. Fl- uh, you can't like, catch him on the fly, but you have to have the right equipment. Do you want to be standing in that water? That's the thing. Like, and they're, they're not like aggressive, like eat people, but until they get their first taste of blood. Yep. Then it's all over. Then you got once, it. once they get the taste. Yep. Then it's. It's him or I kind of thing. <laughs> they don't stop. It's kind of like a, a wild... Kind of like Doritos back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a, a wild tiger. You know, oh, they're they're tame. They're okay. But as soon as they get like the taste of human blood, mm-hmm. nothing will, you know, anyways. But um, but yeah, I, I mean, this that's seven foot. It's not an alligator. It's, a, it's like a fish, but it looks prehistoric. Yeah. Kind of like, um, like sturgeon. Mm-hmm. When you see them, they don't even look... They look like dinosaurs. Yeah. But a seven foot alligator gar, that's that's pretty wild. Yeah. And then we also saw I mean there's been, there's a lot of fish that's been being caught. And that was actually up on um um that was actually there was a big um uh, muskie caught up on 
Hardy Dam as well. That was giant. And same thing. It's like, I, I don't want to put my hand near that, yeah. that People mouth. People are swimming in there. Oh, yeah. I mean, the thing was like, it was absolutely massive. Um, it was like over, it was like, I don't remember. I don't want to shoot from the hip. But it was like, pew, pew. It, it was like s- over five feet long. And it they've, was a monkey. It's caught sturgeon off the um, Sixth Street Dam area too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, actually, a little history on the Sixth Street Dam Whenever Grand Rapids was founded, they had, um, they they would. I don't know if you've ever been to the the museum downtown. Yeah. But they had a whole sturgeon exhibit. I took my kids to see, and I think I've mentioned on the podcast before. But there's a place just above the Sixth Street Dam where all the sturgeon would come before the dam was put in, and mm-hmm. that's with like their breeding ground. And they would make this weird noise with their mouth, and it would shake this rock shelf underneath the river. And it would send this frequency through the water where all the sturgeon would hear it and come in and reproduce. Oh, there's a party going there's on. There's a party going on the sandbar. You hear that, and boys? <laughs> 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 Better not be any alligator gar there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then what, what, there were so many sturgeon in the water in the Grand River that actually that they would – they would harvest these sturgeon because they were, there's a lot of oil in them, mm-hmm. and they would use them to, to power their freight trains. That's crazy. Isn't that nuts? Yeah. They like just use them, you know, instead of wood, they would just throw these sturgeon. Throw another fish in. Yeah. It's just... You know, it's exciting if they do uh, go through the, pr- the plans here that's been proposed for a few years to put the rapids back in. You think? Yeah. It's pretty controversial. Yeah, it is, but I think it'd be pretty awesome. <clears throat> we'll see what happens. There's a yeah. lot of money behind it. Yep. Basically, for the listeners not from the Grand Rapids area, they wanted to take our Sixth Street Dam. Actually, I've got a song about the Sixth Street Dam located on iTunes or on your favorite down uh, listening platform. Your favorite platform. iTunes, Spotify, yep. YouTube. Google Play. Google Play. All of those. You can check out Sixth Street Dam. <laughs> <laughs> so I write a song about it. I'm like, oh, we're just going to take out the Sixth Street Dam. You know, just my luck, you know, but... Do a new song about the rapids. Yeah, do it. I'll do a new song about uh, the rapids. No, but they they're taking out the Sixth Street Dam, and uh, it's pretty controversial. But I think I think overall it'd be a good thing. Yeah, it'll so. bring a lot of industry back, like whitewater uh, rapids yeah. for uh, kayaking, and yeah, a lot that's of cool what stuff. that's what they're seeing. A lot of whitewater rapids and and things like that. A um, <clears throat> couple things that we want to talk about. First of all, our format is uh, if you notice, we we do sometimes where. We don't have guests the last yep. a few times, you know, <clears throat> here and there. We're just trying to, to make it, uh, we're trying to better our brand. We're trying to do something a little bit different. And change we'll, it up. Change it up. One of the things that uh, blow it up, uh, <laughs> <laughs> our listeners will understand that. <laughs> if you don't listen, you don't know. <laughs> no, totally kidding. No, but seriously, um, we're trying to change. That's so stupid. <laughs> Try, <laughs> trying to change things up a bit. And one of the ways we're trying to really uh, engage our listeners is with our writing contest. Yes. It is. And we want to clarify, it's not a writing contest as in like we're going to check your grammar. Right. And your punctuation. Right. It is, uh, we want to hear your stories, you know. We want to mm-hmm. we want to hear these camp stories and, and uh, have some fun with it. Yeah, we really do. We got three prizes uh, from our from our uh, sponsors from Sand Hill Coffee, from um, Deli Fresh, Deli Fresh Design. So we got some really cool cool gifts on from from our sponsors on that. That's so awesome. We really appreciate the gifts from them. But um, but tell us a little bit about it, Bill. I mean, what do you what do you want out of this? What do you uh, want out of what this? What do I want? It's not you. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> It was one alligator gar, okay? <laughs> <laughs> he was giving me the eyes. <laughs> I've always wanted to catch C- anyways, anyways. Anyways. So go ahead. <sighs> Enough about the alligator gar, I know. okay? It's, it's getting it's fishy. It's getting ridiculous. <laughs> so tell us about so the, the writing, writing contest. Yeah. yeah. We just wanna we just wanna hear some stories. Hear about what you guys do at camp. Mm-hmm. Be it trout camp or whatever kind of camp. If you guys do a fall camp like for a salmon or Right. You know, what are some traditions? What are some awesome stories? What's the biggest fish you caught? That kind of stuff. Just, just, just let us know. Let's talk about it on the air. Right. And, and we had one guy reach out and say, uh, "Is it okay if that it's fiction?" It, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. We, we it's it, now. It, it'd be weird if it was science fiction, though. We were talking about that off the air. <clears throat> we, like, we, we. Well, I mean, what would that entail? What would what would be the ideal trout science fiction story? I, I would just like. For some reason, like total recall popped in my head, like Arnold Schwarzenegger fly fishing, and <laughs> I don't know why. That just like what the heck? 
<laughs> or Star Trek? Would it be the original saw, or the next generation? I, I don't saw know. Total, I saw Total Recall when I was like 12. <laughs> yep. So you can imagine the only scene that I remember. Oh, yeah. From That's what I was just thinking of, too. I'm like, how could that integrate? <laughs> <laughs> Three trout. The, <laughs> Three-eyed trout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but yeah, I think it'd be, I think it'd be funny, you know, if we had Sasquatch, you know, you know, people underestimate underestimate Sasquatch. Heck, if you've got a story about Sasquatch, though. If if you have a, a story, I, w- I was thinking maybe we should do a fall one with like a tell us your your scariest moment outside, and sure. that could include because like I've got a Sasquatch story. Maybe I'll tell later in the fall. Um, and I've got a buddy who was there with me who would be willing to uh, tell his side of it. You know? Yeah, I mean, you, you have the sticker on your on the back of your car that says "I believe," don't you? I, well, <laughs> and the tattoo and my, my tramp stamp. It's it's, it's in, in Chinese. Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> it says daily bread. <laughs> But you you did experience the Sasquatch. Well, uh, we'll talk about this later in the fall. Okay. This is a good fall conversation. Yeah, hang on, people. (laughs) But wait, there's more. Wait, there's more in the fall. Um, But yeah, so some science fiction would be good. Yeah. You make just make stuff up because that's what that's what anglers do. Yeah. (laughs) Probably. (laughs) Probably. Let's just be honest. Ninety percent was at least fiction. Yeah. Um, Yeah. The other ten percent science fiction. Yeah. (laughs) It's it's funny because. uh, Joe T. Malderis, the very first guest that we've had on the podcast uh-huh. back way back in season one, um, awesome guy. Um, Joe, Joe, Joe T. Malderis took a picture of a bear, and it was all grainy. You mm-hmm. know, just recently, <clears throat> he's like, "Prove it's not real. This is this is the Sasquatch." <laughs> you know, but yeah, we we. we <laughs> God, see, guys, we, we had to edit this joke out that Bill said because it was highly <laughs> offensive. We were laughing so hard, so now I can't get it out of my head. Literally five minutes. If you would like to know, uh, you can email me at jefft at remotenopressure.com. <laughs> no, but... We'll tell you our short story. <laughs> <we'll> sh- <laughs> oh. Show us your No. Yeah, yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, it is just a right here. My at filter R&P. is not kicking in. There's no filter at RNP Studios today. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, but we want to hear stories, and, and it's not like a contest, like who's got the best writing or whatever. We just want to read over them and have some fun. Have some fun with it, you know? Um, and it, it's just it's just a good time. But yeah. we, we really want to provide it because I think we've got a lot of talented listeners. I think so too. And we have people that have emailed me before and say, hey, can we uh, submit something to your to your blog or whatever on the podcast website? And so instead of like, you know, it's just his way of getting that information. Absolutely. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. So send it over and we'll we'll get it posted up on our blog and, uh, and we'll announce the winners on our first episode in August, that first episode. Yeah. So and we are about to take our summer hiatus, which is yep. exciting, which we do every year. Uh, after that episode, there, <laughs> the second year and our second annual second, summer hiatus. Second annual, we do it every year. Every year, it's our second annual. On a scale of one to ten, it's awesome. It, it could be <laughs> scary though, because after the first season, you made some big changes. You brought me on. Yeah. What's going to happen on the third season? It has to be, to be continued, but it's pretty exciting. Matching tattoos. <laughs> Matching tattoos in Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> But his says something different. No, it doesn't. It's the spirit. It's the spirit. Uh, if you read it in the right spirit, it says something different in the Chinese letter. Why does it have my lucky numbers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, be sure to, be sure to check that out. And we want more engagement. Be sure to ch- you know check out our website and let us know what you think. If you have any feedback or want to see something or hear a guest in season three. Yeah. You know, got we some love, great recommendations. Let us know. Yeah, we'd love to hear it as we as we get ready for that. And we got some goals. We got some exciting stuff coming for season three. Yeah, we launched a new website for season two. Um, well, we went we went from uh, one platform to another. Um, so that was really cool. But season three is going to be pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm trying not to like give too much weight. Don't let the cat out of the bag. Right. And I don't who the heck like, puts cats in bags to begin with? Well, I did until I heard that phrase. Wow. Because like, getting it out is half the battle. <laughs> Don't let the cat out of the bag. I mean, Bill, you're really funny. You're in a really good mood today. <laughs> I, I really appreciate that. Fully caffeinated. We did, we're doing this in the morning again. It's a great time to do it. it. Is. You know, because at night, like we've talked, you get exhausted, you get tired. Yep. But 
We're always happy for that. So are you going to be doing some fishing this weekend? I am, yeah. I just bought a new kayak yesterday. Yeah. Or two days ago. It's very exciting. Yeah. And <laughs> so we're going to take it out on the water today and test it out. And mm-hmm. and now i got to figure out how to fit two like 30-inch-plus kayaks on the top of my car. They both won't fit on your rack? No. So I might have to get like a trailer and a trailer hitch. Uh-huh. Or I don't know. i got to do some thinking on this one. Maybe just buy a boat. And then stick both kayaks in that. Brilliant. <laughs> Do you have to register your kayaks? No. You don't? Nope. No stickers on it? No either. stickers. That's no true. motors in them. So you only have to do motorized Oh, really? Vehicles. Yeah. I thought canoes had to have them. That's what they want you to think. Oh, That's really? Big Brother. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have no idea. I know kayaks are just like riding scooters. Oh, really? Really? <laughs> <laughs> don't let your friends catch you. <laughs> <laughs> Dead spot. <laughs> back to what we said. Back to what we said earlier about offending fifty percent of the population. Yep. I hope this podcast has met those expectations. <laughs> I think we're above that average right now. I think we're probably <laughs> probably down to like five percent that will still tune in. Yeah, but be sure to check us out on our all of our um, on Instagram, Facebook. Um, sign up for our mailing list. Yeah, so we're gonna have some awesome stories. Some of these stories we're gonna be publishing through our mailing list too. So go to remotenopressure dot com. Sign up for our mailing list. Uh, check out our Sasquatch decal. It's on yeah. sale right now yep. for five bucks instead big of the normal sellers. six. Yeah, big seller. So check everybody that out. should have one. It spreads the word about RNP and uh, who and, doesn't love Bigfoot. And, you know, leave no trace and Bigfoot. Yes. I mean, of course he leaves no trace. That's right. So when you're out there, be like Bigfoot. Be like Sasquatch. Leave yep. no trace. And until next time, go fish. Wait a minute. What? YouTube channel. You forgot to promote our YouTube channel. <clears throat> you know what, Bill? <clears throat> Let me just take a minute. I just want to say, you know, you're the one who's got the, the YouTube channel set up and going. And you've I should have f- done that. I should have promoted is what you're saying. No, I'm just saying you're doing a fine job. Well, thank you. Thank I, you. I really appreciate all the hard work you put into that. And we're getting some velocity. We're getting some downloads. We're getting on some that. velociraptors. Some velociraptors. <laughs> <laughs> How do I know you're qualified for this job in business? Well, I've noticed on our PL, we've gained a lot of velociraptors. <laughs> you're hired. <laughs> you're hired. Perfect. I just want a yes man. You no. seem like the uh, scandalous type we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> the trifling type. Uh, you don't know anything, but you are trifling. You fit in really well here at the company. <laughs> For in our marketing department. <laughs> just when you thought the podcast was over. Just, this is, you know what? Normally we charge extra for this content. Yeah. This is the premium yes, content. That's right. <laughs> this we, is, we do the outtakes live as we edit. Yeah. As we edit, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, uh, great job on the YouTube channel, Bill. Well, thank you. Yeah, check out Remote No Pressure on YouTube. Subscribe. Yep. Uh, check out, it's all the same content as the podcast, but uh, on YouTube. So it's easier to share too. Yeah, you can like throw it on the background on your Roku TV or uh, right. how whatever format you want to listen to it. Like I, I'll do that with my uh, Roku at home. I'll just pop a podcast up or any kind of video and mm-hmm. be doing some housework around listening to it or something. Yeah, there you go. Invite the gar over. Yeah, you know, <laughs> hey, turn I'll on a little R and P in the background. Check out these guys. They laugh <laughs> and cough. Light a candle. <laughs> you got. <laughs> I love this podcast. All three hosts: Jeff, Bill, and the cough. <laughs> Third member. The third member <laughs> is the cough. <laughs> it's awful. Anyways, but yeah, but thanks, Bill, for all your work. Yeah, yeah. So check us out on YouTube. Uh, and until next time, go fishing. <laughs>